Hi, Marsha. Welcome to the darkest cave. The darkest echoey cave in the world. Also known as the laundry room in my building. It's a little cold outside. Normally, I would practice outside with you guys. Um, good news. Ordered a microphone. So I got a microphone coming. So we're going to be able to downplay this terrible echo in the future. So I just want to thank you guys so much for bearing with me today. Doing the best that we can with literally everything we have at our disposal. Um, yeah. So welcome to Yin Yoga, you guys. We've got about 10 minutes before we're actually going to go ahead and get started. I encourage you to grab any sort of props that you want. I brought the one walk that I own set up right by the bathroom here. Super hope no kids in it. That could be very awkward. Um, wash your hands. Wash your hands. Definitely wash my hands before I came down because we're definitely going to touch our faces just a little bit. Oh, virtual happy hour for Carol Spooner. That sounds nice, Carol. Hi, everybody. Welcome. Welcome to the deep, dark depths of my apartment complex basement. My name is Jessica Walters. I'm the health and fitness program manager at Minor McLean. I'm really excited to lead you guys through some yin yoga today. So you got just a little, just around 10 minutes. Just, I know it's so dark. I'm sorry. But you know what? The great news is that you barely need to watch me today. I'm going to really do the best to guide you guys through my words. And yin is a really relaxing form of yoga. Hey Shelly, we're just going to hang out in postures for a little bit longer than you might be used to. Uh, just relaxing, releasing our muscles as much as we can. So when you get here, lay down, grab those props if you have them. If you don't have them, you'll know for next week. And maybe I'll talk you guys through how you can Use your hands and your body parts to feel super relaxed. Okay, so I'm gonna make my way back to my mat. Grab a little water. Uh, feel free to please have some water around nearby. We're, we're not really gonna have any specific water breaks during this class because it is such a short little class, but I mean, please feel free to grab some water if you want. We don't have any big back bends or anything coming up where it wouldn't be. So if you're here a couple minutes early, we are going to get started laying down on our backs. So please feel free to just lay down on your back and start to come into your breath. And in a couple minutes, we're all going to join you there. Just start to breathe a little before class really begins. You can never pour from an empty cup, so it's just so important to get that you time in so you can be the best version of yourself and you can present the best version of you to others. I am that hippy dippy. <laughs> so thanks for coming. 
Jen Miles is going to be here today moderating in the chat. So if you guys have any questions or concerns, please feel free to reach out to Jen. And if there's anything that she misses or if you think of anything after class, please absolutely feel free to email me. I'm so here to support you guys as much as I possibly can. Three minutes till magic. Welcome to my laundry room dungeon. Great news for the laundry room dungeon. Thank you, whoever sent a heart. I ordered lights. I got lights coming. We got a lavalier mic coming. We're, we're gonna be so cool, you guys. We just have to hope that nobody comes to do laundry while it's cold outside. Or else you can get to know my neighbor. Fun sounds. <laughs> All right, so if you're here already, uh, hopefully you saw my little intro suggesting some amazing music if you're into just some spa-like jams. Check out the ambient relaxation playlist on Spotify. I also did post earlier today a link to my Spotify playlists. You will see many of them, there's some that are specifically for yoga or Pilates. I feel like I've made mention of that in the title. If you don't want to hear any curse words, please always put on explicit lyrics that are not acceptable for you. Uh, but for those of you who don't mind, there's something there. And if you have a favorite playlist, please, absolutely, let us know. We would so love to know that you guys are connecting, not just enjoying the same workouts, but the same music as well. One more minute, meeting you guys down here on our mats, maybe you've got a block, maybe you've got some big comfy pillows from your couch or your bed, a giant blanket that you can fold or roll up, whatever props that you're able to find, you are able to use, and if you don't have props, you've got your arms, you've got your legs, and we're going to use those to absolutely relax and release as much as possible. All right, so with just about one minute to start, we're gonna go ahead and lay down on our backs so that anyone who joins us will also know that they can lay down on their backs. Mm, as we start to come into your breath now, already optional modification, depending on how your body feels today, keeping these legs straight out in front of you might not be very comfortable, so if you need to, please know that even here from the beginning, you can bend your knees, as we just relax on our mats, coming into your breath. Typically, yoga breathing is breathing in through your nose, long, slow, deep inhales, filling your lungs, expanding their capacity, and then exhaling out through your nose as well. However, if you find that breathing in through your nose and out through your nose is just feeling a little weird for you today, feel free to breathe out through your mouth. In fact, breathing out through your mouth, especially while warming up for your yoga or even a Pilates practice, can help to warm your body up even more. But if you're finding you're already feeling pretty hot, think about bringing that breath back to in and out through your nose. Start to scan your 
body from head to toe and notice if there's any points of tension. Truly sending your long, relaxed exhales into those tense points. You can already close your eyes. If you do decide to keep your eyes open, find one spot on the ceiling above you to relax your eyes. If your eyes are moving, your mind is moving. Relaxing, releasing, gently sinking more and more into your mat. Allowing your shoulders to gently pull away from your ears, stretching through the crown of your head towards the wall behind you. A little bit of a pressing of your lower back into the mat as you engage your abdominal core. Just start to notice your body and your breath. Every inhale longer, slower, fuller, maybe an extra sip at the top. And with every exhale, make sure you're really getting all of that stale air out of your lungs so that every breath can be a little bit bigger, a little bit larger. away sound that you can hear right now. Last two breaths. For our first real posture of the day, we're going to go for banana pose. So if you bend your legs, kick them out in front of you. Keep your hips squared at the center of your mat. Use your inhale to bring your arms up overhead. You're going to keep your hips at the center of the mat. Begin to walk your legs. Pardon me, Black. Walk your legs over to the right as much as feels comfortable for you today. And then walk your hands over to the right as much as feels comfortable for you as well. You might elect to cross your left leg over your right, getting a deeper stretch throughout that left side hip. You might even want to grab hold of your left hand with your right. If you found that crossing your leg wasn't very comfortable for you, feel free to uncross. Here for you, we're not really working to squeeze and tense your muscles. So I want you to take a nice big deep inhale. And on your exhale, relax as much as possible, taking the tension out of your shoulders, maybe even bending your elbows a little bit more. Allowing as much of your shoulders and your back to be relaxed on the mat. Feeling that big stretch happening through your legs. Maybe you feel it from your left ankle through your hip, your hip to your armpit, your armpit through your fingers. But well, what else on your body can you relax? Notice if you're holding tension between your eyebrows or in your jaw and use your exhale to simply melt away that tension. If you did decide to keep your eyes open, once again, find a spot to focus your eyes, relax your mind. Just back to your breath, gently scanning your body from head to toe. breaths right here. As slow as you can go. If you cross your left leg over your right, on your next exhale, uncross your legs. Gently begin to walk your legs back to the center of your mat. Walk your hands back to the center of the mat above you. 
Keep your hips grounded right where they are, and this time walk your legs over to the left as much as possible. You can keep your feet relaxed side by side as you walk your hands over to the left as much as possible. Sit bones are still grounded into the mat. Try once again, crossing your one legs one over the other. What felt right on one side might not feel the same on the other. So please, honor your body today. Find what feels good. And just find a point of this posture, of every posture that you do today, where you can continue in the stretch. And it's very normal as we're working into our fascia and our ligaments and our tendons, as opposed to our active muscles, that you might even notice that your muscles start to tremble and shake as you hold on to these postures for a little bit longer. If that's so, stay in it as long as you can. Just focus on your breath, but if you need to come out for a second, please do. Keep that gentle focus of your eyes somewhere on the ceiling above you. Make sure you're relaxing your fingers and your toes. Taking the tension out of your belly and your glutes. Really relax those butts. Last two breaths right here. your legs. Walk your legs back towards the center of your mat. Walk your hands back to the center of your mat above you. Take a deep inhale. And on your exhale, bend to your elbows. Bring your arms back down by your side. Taking a moment once again right here in our savasana. Heels touch, toes fall open, palms face up towards the ceiling. Everything stays close to the center line of your body so that it doesn't have to work too hard to pump all of the oxygen-rich blood we are creating from fingers to toes. Next up, we're going to wake ourselves up a little bit with some bridge pose. So go ahead, bend your knees, and place the soles of your feet down on the mat underneath you. Turn those hands, palms over, and press your fingertips, your palms, even feel free to really open your chest and press the tips of your shoulders into the floor. You want to bring your heels as close to the center line of your body as you can, and a gentle tucking of your chin towards your chest, as if you're holding on to a delicious, juicy grapefruit. Get ready to move with your exhale. So take a nice deep inhale, and then ground your feet into the floor, slowly, gently lift those hips up off of your mat, still pressing your arms into the floor. We're going to stay up here for just one full cycle of breath. So a deep inhale at the top. Enjoy another big exhale at the top. One more inhale. And get ready to move on your exhale, gently one vertebrae at a time. Lower yourself back down towards the mat and stay here once again for another cycle of breath. Inhaling at the bottom. Full exhale at the bottom. One more deep inhale, ground your heels, your big toe, your pinkies into the floor. Press those arms down and as you exhale, lift your hips up one vertebrae at a time coming up to as much as feels good for you today. So maybe you come all the way up onto your shoulders as I did, or maybe you want to keep that middle back down on the mat and focus just on a little bit of a curl on your pelvis. Maybe more of a stretch in those hip flexors. Enjoy your deep inhale. And on your exhale, slowly lower yourself down. Full cycle of breath here at the bottom. Once again, grounding your lower back into the mat. Pull your belly button back towards your spine. Engage your core. Get ready to move on your next exhale. Last time pressing yourself up. Round your heel, your big toe, your pinky, squeezing your glutes just for one more moment. Deep inhale. And exhale, slowly lower yourself down. As you get all the way down there, bring your knees in towards your chest. Squeeze those knees in towards each other.
each other. Place one hand on top of each knee and just make some circles with your knees, starting in whichever direction feels comfortable for you, giving yourself a nice little massage of your lower back, of your sacrum. And get ready to change the direction of those knee circles. All right, release the feet back down towards the mat, keeping your knees bent. Stretch your arms out into a side, a T on the side. Your palms can face up or down, whatever feels comfortable for you. I want you to gently pull your shoulders away from your ear and gently draw your belly button back to your spine once more. We've got a little spine twist. So go ahead, drop your legs over to the left side as much as feels comfortable for you. And this is where those props come into play because maybe it doesn't feel really comfortable for you to have your knees together or your outer thigh all the way down towards the floor. So feel free to use a pillow between your legs or maybe below that left knee. Just finding what feels good for you today, this is gonna be one of our first long postures. Get ready to stay here for about three minutes. Yay! Indeed, this is yoga. As you're ready, turn your chin towards your right shoulder, increasing the stretch, just finding what feels good for you. You might even want to keep your right leg bent and straighten your left leg out to feel the twist a little bit deeper into your lower back. Once again, find a spot, relax your eyes, relax your mind, and come back into that nice, relaxed breath. Long, slow, deep inhales in through the nose. And as you can, enjoying those long exhales out through your nose as well. Notice if that tension has crept back into your shoulders. Are they trying to become earrings? If so, use your breath. Exhale those shoulders away from your ears. Allow them to sink more into your mat. Notice if you're pressing your fingertips into the floor and take the tension out of your fingers. The goal here is just to focus on your breath on a nice, gentle stretch and take the tension out of your muscles so that when you finish a yin yoga class, you feel rejuvenated as opposed to depleted or as if you've spent a lot of energy like you might in a vinyasa or a Bikram class. Relaxing those bellies, relaxing your breath, Every exhale, maybe you can bring your chin towards that right shoulder a little bit more, getting more of a stretch on the outside of your left neck. Last three breaths. On your next exhale, gently roll yourself back towards the center. Draw both of those knees back up, starting the same way for the opposite side as you did just now. Use a deep inhale, prepare yourself, and on your exhale, allow your knees to fall over to the right side of your body. Again, use your props as much as you want to, maybe a block or a pillow between the legs, maybe below the legs, Maybe both, maybe nothing. Just finding what feels right for you today. Remember, you can flip your palms up or palms down, and as you're ready, turn your chin towards your left shoulder. Notice where you're holding your tension, 
and scan your body from head to toe, starting at the top of your head, relaxing your eyes and your eyebrows, using your next exhale to actively relax your shoulders, find a little bit of length as you pull them away from your ears, relaxing your chest and your back. Make sure that tension's not crawling into your glutes and your thighs. Maybe you even start to notice if your palms are facing up that your fingers gently curl in as your amazing energy just starts to swirl. Focus your eyes on that one spot or close them. Relax your mind as much as possible. time to truly focus on your breath here. Noticing that your chest rises as your ribcage expands and your lungs fill. And how it falls just a little bit slower than it rolls on your inhale. The last two breaths right here. Use your exhale, roll yourself slowly back to center. Knees once again point up towards the ceiling. Next up we have reclined bound angle. So you're gonna bring the soles of your feet together as your knees open nice and wide. My hip flexors are pretty flexible, so it's really easy for me to get the outside of my knees close to the floor. Remember, you can use your props. So if your knees feel really far from the floor, or maybe they're still pointing up towards the ceiling, put a pillow or something under there. So you can help to relax yourself. You might even want to use your hands and imagine your hip flexors as cats. You're just petting the cats. Meow. Relax, kitty. Feel free to keep your heels as close to the center line of your body as you want. Or if you want, you can even bring them a little further away. Find what feels good for you today. Find the stretch that you can relax in for the next three minutes. Maybe you need to adjust your shoulders underneath of you. You are going to feel that deep stretch on the outside of your thighs and on the inside by your hips. But where else can you relax? Keep that chin gently tucked towards your chest like you're holding a grapefruit. Option to get a nice stretch in your chest and your pecs here as well if you bring your arms up overhead and wide. Back to your stillness, your focus, and your breath. So part of the challenge of yin yoga is also finding the point in the posture that you can hold in complete stillness besides that gentle trembling that we talked about that might be happening as you really reach a little bit deeper into your ligaments and whatnot. I usually find that I start to really clench my bum, like I'm holding money and I don't want you to take it away from me. So my biggest focus is always sending my breath to relax right there to pull my shoulders away from my ears, and to just bring things back to my breath. Four more super slow breaths right here. Two. 
out to your side, whichever side feels most comfortable for you. We're going to press ourselves up to a seated position. All right, here comes our most active posture of the day. I'm going to give you guys a couple different options. So we're either going to go for a squat or you can hang out on the floor right here for a wide leg stump. I'm going to show you wide leg stump first. I'm drawing my knees in towards my chest and I'm pressing the soles of my feet down towards the floor. I'm aiming to get my feet about hips width distance apart or wider. You can then hold onto your knees with your hands palms or even hook your knees with your elbows to get a big lift of your chest. So drawing those knees in, we're going to feel a big stretch in your hip flexors. That's option number one. If you want to try something a little bit more challenging, especially if you have a block around, feel free to pull yourself up into a squat. Open those feet nice and wide if you came into a squat, even pointing your big toes out into a 45 degree angle. Depending on how tight you are, you might not be able to get those heels all the way towards the floor. You might even want to take a block and literally place a block under your bum so you can sit yourself down and just work on increasing the stretch. While I hang out here in my squat, I'm going to go ahead and bring my elbows to the insides of my knees and my hands to the center of my chest in Namaskar, hanging out for just a moment in Malasana. Now remember, we're working to relax as much as we can. So while you're here, especially if you went for the wide leg stump option, feel free to tuck your chin to your chest. You don't have to be lifted here. We are mo mainly focusing on getting that big stretch in our hip flexors once more, doing the best that you can to get your feet as flat on the floor, but no judgment. It's yoga practice. It's not yoga perfect. You can do it every day. And remember that every day is different. Every day is different and every day the body that you have is just a little bit different. It all depends on how did you eat, how did you sleep, what's going on at work, at home, in the world. So just thank yourself for making this amazing time for you today to focus on yourself, your health, your breath. Because like I said before, you can't pour from an empty cup. So you have to fill yourself up and then you can share yourselves with others. You got three more breaths right here. Nice and slow. You might even need to come onto your knees. We're going to send our hips up towards the ceiling. You might want to heel till your feet in a little bit closer towards each other. They can even be side by side if you want. I'm going to turn to the side just so you can see what I'm doing as we've got a dangle coming up next. So make sure that you're evenly pressing the weight through your heels, your big toes, your pinkies, and you can see that I have a generous bend of my knees right here so that my belly can be sandwiched on my thighs. The more that you have your chin away from your chest, the easier it is to get that belly sandwiched on your thighs. As you tuck your chin towards your chest, it creates more of a rounding. So allow your chin and your eyes to gaze heavy down towards the floor, maybe even a couple of inches in front of you. If the floor feels really far away from you and you can't relax your hands on the floor like I am, you're gonna pull to your opposite elbow. Allow those elbows to hang heavy down towards the back. If you want to increase the stretch on the back of your legs, feel free to bring a little bit more weight forward into your toes, sending those hips up towards the ceiling. And if you've got a prop around, you can even relax your hands on the prop. If you gently keep your stomach sucked in while you're hinging forward, it's gonna help your back feel better as well. So just a little engagement of your abdominal core. Anytime we do a forward fold, I promise I'll always remind you I know this is a big stretch on the back of your legs, you guys. Remember, it's normal if you start to feel a little bit of trembling and shaking. Just come back to your nice, focused breath. Either eyes closed or looking at one spot. 
Relax your mind. Relax your eyes. And just keep doing your best, because your best is always enough. Take three more super slow breaths right here. Maybe with every exhale, you can even sink a little bit deeper down towards the floor or send those hips up a little higher towards the ceiling. Great work, everyone. Go ahead and bring your hands, palms to the floor. We're going to bend our knees and come back down to our mats into tabletop. I'm going to face this direction because I think it seems a little lighter. Can I think I'm wrong? Okay. So here we are in tabletop. You're going to spread your fingers nice and wide like a starfish. If you have a mat, even think about the middle finger or your pointer finger lining up with the parallel line of the side of your mat. It doesn't have to touch it, just being in a straight line. And then your hips are stacked right on top of your knees. And we're going to take a couple moments right here in our breath, doing our own magical jam with cat-cat. So as you tuck your chin towards your chest, personally, I love to inhale. But if you prefer to exhale, that's also super cool. Press that fleshy part between your thumb and your pointer finger onto the mat and look towards your knee. Hang out here for a full cycle of breath, both your inhale and your exhale. And then as you change your breath, allow yourself to come on down into cow. As you get your belly hangs heavy down towards the floor, pull your shoulders away from your ears. Stretch your eyes, nose, chin up towards the ceiling. Hang on here. Once again, a full cycle of breath, both inhale and exhale. Just hanging out a little bit longer than we might usually. And then as you're ready, change. Okay, so we've already gone through one cat and one cow each, so now it's time to make the movement your own. As you come up into cat, maybe shaking your hips left and right, maybe shaking your shoulders right and left. Feel free to hang out in cat for as long as feels good for you. And then switch it up, come into cat, and feel free to do the same thing. Shaking your hips, shaking your shoulders. I'm, I'm making some circles with my shoulders, like if I were doing the Cabbage Patch Kid. Whatever you do in one direction, just make sure you do it in the opposite direction as well. Have some fun. Do you. Be silly. Be whatever animal you can think of. Cat, cow, dog, starfish, what else? All right. Let's go ahead, go ahead and bring your big toes together. Open your knees just a little bit wider. Send your hips back towards your heels. Next up is child pose. Bring a prop with you. As you walk your hands forward, I'm going to take my block and I'm going to place it underneath of my forehead. Now, I encourage you to walk your hands as far forward as feels comfortable for you today. And I'm going to tell you that I put that block under my forehead because hanging out in child's pose for longer than usual, for me, really drains everything up towards the top of my head. I find it easy to get my head down on the floor below my arms. Maybe it's not as easy for you and just hanging out in regular child's pose is comfortable. We're working to get our head below heart's level, which is just going to help to slow down our pulse and just increase feelings of relaxation. If you find that having your arms stretched all the way out in front of you is a little too much for your shoulders, take a generous bend of your elbows. Maybe even making a pillow with your hands that you can place your head on. And if this is still too much of a stretch for you, bring those hands all the way down toward your feet. Again, you can either place your head on the floor or use a pillow or a block or whatever you need to. As we hang out here in child pose for just a couple minutes. Once again, coming back into your breath and really focusing on using your breath for relaxation. So on your exhales, maybe you sink a little bit deeper 
her hips coming closer towards your heels. Take a couple of breaths to come into the most comfortable stretch for you today, the stretch that you'll be able to hold as we finish the posture out together. You got two minutes from right here. You're totally worth it. So please join me and honor yourself. Last three breaths right here. Use your exhale, press yourself back up into tabletop, bring those knees together. While we're here in tabletop, I want you to Tuck your toes under. Next up, we have toe sit. So I'm really doing my best to tuck my toes under. So my toes are now pointing towards the top of the mat. I'm working to get my balls of the feet down towards the mat. You're gonna gently start walking your hands closer towards your knees. And please be prepared that the closer your hands get towards your knees, the more of a really big stretch you're going to feel under your toes and the back of your feet. So maybe you've stopped right here, your hands aren't even at your knees yet, and that's totally okay. Or maybe you're gonna continue walking it up and in, even bringing your hands onto your thighs. You can sit yourself up. If you made it all the way up, cool. And if you didn't make it all the way up, cool. <laughs> Relax your shoulders away from your ears. Feel free to tuck your chin towards your chest here. Two minutes right here in this toe sit. Remember, you're pushing yourself to hang out in this stretch a little bit longer because that's what it takes to get a little bit deeper into our bones, tissues, ligaments, and skin. However, if you find you came into something a little too much for you, totally walk yourself back out. Today's day one, you guys. Day one, yay. Come back next week. Using your breath, just scan your body head to toe. Relax what you can. You've got four breaths from right here. Just breathe through it. You can do it. Just gotta put your mind to it. Take one more deep inhale. And on your exhale, come on back into tabletop. Untuck those toes and tap those feet onto the floor. Good work. All right, go ahead, shift your hips towards the side. Next up, we're gonna go for dragonfly. So go ahead, open those legs out nice and wide. You might find you need to even press your hands into the floor to help readjust yourself. Start to flex your toes back towards your face. Here we're stretching on a, we're focusing on a big stretch, maybe on the inside and below your legs. Depending on how tight you are, you might find you even need to put your hands right here by your hips. But remember, we're relaxing as much as possible, so don't feel like you have to be really big and lifted in this stretch. You can even tuck your chin down towards your chest. Your focus is just on flexing those toes back towards your face. If you don't quite feel enough of a stretch here, feel free to walk yourself forward. 
And again, you have the option of coming forward with this nice open chest, pulling shoulders away from your ears, maybe enjoying that stretch on your back, or walking forward rounded as well. Just finding what feels good for you, focusing on the biggest stretch that you can create on the back of your legs. We're coming down towards the end of class, you guys, so this is one of the last couple of postures we can do. Now remember, the focus right now is on the back of our legs, the inner thighs. So relax your bones. Take the tension out of your glutes. Take the tension out of your shoulders. Make weird sounds if you need to. Keep flexing those toes back towards your face. Keep slowing down that breath. Last three. While you're breathing, I just want to thank you guys again for joining me in the dungeon that is the laundry room. Just remind you guys that I definitely have lights and a wireless mic coming, and it's only gonna get so good. Take one more deep inhale. And on your exhale, gently begin to walk yourself back in. All right, let's go for a little bit of deer pose. So you're gonna fold your left leg in. The sole of your left foot comes close to the inside of your right thigh bicep. And you're going to take your hands and you're going to put them down around your left knee so you can bend that right leg in. Depending on how flexible you are today, and I'll turn to the side so you can see me a little bit better, you might be able to get that right heel all the way in towards your glute. Or if things are really tight, you might want to go for a nice 90 degree angle here, bringing that right leg a little further away from you. You can bring as much weight into this left hand on your side as you need to. But if you can, really work to sit those right glutes back down towards the mat. We're just focusing right now on the stretch that we're creating on the outside of that right thigh. You can bring your hands to your knees. You can bring your hands behind you. Again, just finding what feels good for you today. Relaxing those shoulders down away from your ears. A gentle engagement of your abdominal cord. Focus your eyes or close them. Just a couple more breaths right here. Go ahead and take your last three breaths on this side for deer pose. Exhaling that right glute a little closer to the mat each time. One more deep inhale. And on your exhale, bring your hands behind you. You're going to send your knees up toward the ceiling and just gently windshield wipe your legs a couple times. Right and left, right and left, right and left. And then you're going to let those knees fall over to the opposite side. So this time the sole of the right foot touches the inside or top of the left thigh. And your left leg can again be at a 90 degree angle with the inner sole of your foot pressed down towards the floor. Or you can bring that in and bring that heel all the way in towards your glute. So feel free once again to have your hands by the outside of your right knee as much as you need to. But as you can, relax that left glute back down towards the mat. And flexibility wasn't built in a day, you guys. Definitely wasn't built in a day. So you just gotta keep coming back. Keep coming back. And just be thankful for literally whatever it is that your body can do today. Just be thankful for making this time for yourself. I'm so thankful that you're here sharing your energy and your time with me. Relaxing those shoulders away from your ears, elbows hanging heavy down towards the floor.
shoulders pulling away from your ears on each exhale. You've got three more breaths. Enjoy a long, slow, deep inhale. Bring your hands back behind you. And once again, windshield wipe those legs, right and left, right and left, one last time. Then we're gonna go ahead and keep those legs out in front of us. Gently roll yourself down. One vertebrae at a time. Bam! As we come to our final savasana. This time, feel free to open your legs as wide as you want. Once again, feel free to open your arms as wide as you want. Maybe placing one hand on your heart and one hand on your belly. This final savasana is built into your class. So please, lay down for just a couple more minutes. At least two, I beg of you. To allow all of this freshly oxygenated blood to help Continue to rush through, breaking down scar tissue. Just sending that amazing healing energy through every inch of your body. Once again, take a moment to scan it from head to toe. Another opportunity to release every last bit of tension. Relaxing your eyes and your eyebrows. Relaxing your jaw, your chest your shoulders, relax your belly, release your glutes, maybe even shake them a little side to side. Take the tension out of your knees, your ankles, your fingers, and your toes. On your inhale, think about inhaling in light and joy. And on your exhale, think about releasing tension and sadness. Inhaling in all of the positive and happy. And exhaling out all of the negative and stress. Remember that these long, slow, deep breaths can be there for you throughout your day, wherever it is that you find yourself. Just taking a moment to focus back on you, your breath, can really change the way that you see every situation. You have the power to make anything happen as long as you make the time for it and focus on yourself. Feel free to stay here in this final savasana for as long as you want or need to. If you're like me and you have some other things to get to today, either roll yourself over like a ball or draw your knees in towards your chest and lock yourself up so that we can finish together in a seated position. Coming back into the seated position of your choice, take a moment bring your hands, palms to the center of your chest with your thumbs touching on your sternum. Tuck your chin to your chest and honor yourself. Thank you guys so much for coming. Thank you guys so much for your patience. But mostly, thank you for sharing your energy, not just with me, but with each other. I can't wait to see you guys again soon. I can't wait for every video to just get a little bit better. If you have any questions or concerns, my name is Jessica. I'm the health fitness specialist at Minor McLean. I'll see you guys again tomorrow. Have a great day. Namaste.